Well, I was hoping for a different day today. Uh, it is raining. I know it's going to rain today, tomorrow. The next day, um, it's 43 degrees right now. It's only getting up to like 46, so I can't really wait much longer for it to get any warmer. Um, but uh, my daughter tested positive for COVID today. So um, I don't know that changes things. I think um, as far as my work schedule, my kid's schedule, um, she's actually at her dad's because they have COVID at his house. So um, as much as I would rather her be here so I can take care of her, I also need to try to keep my son and I um, from getting COVID if possible. So she's over there. He is going to be with me, but um, they, they're already with me for two days um, more than expected, which is fine. It just means I have to keep changing my schedule around. Um, so now if he and I do stay kind of in the safe zone and don't get COVID, that means he will be here with me for the rest of the week which again changes my schedule, um, again, also fun. But um, I also have to work. So to try to get my runs in this week is gonna be challenging. I was thinking maybe I should just go and do my long run today because he is at school. I feel pretty okay. I've had a cough, obviously. Um, feeling that like a little more congestion today. I don't know if that's a COVID thing. I don't know if that's been you know running out in the cold thing. I don't know if that's it's all in my head thing. I don't know, um, but I've taken some emergency to try to keep you know my immune system up. I have an autoimmune disease already, so that's always super fun. But um, I've got that. I've got all ready to go. I have a tank top underneath and a long sleeve shirt and my frog tongue jacket. Got my hat on, ready to run, and I looked outside and it is no longer just drizzling. It's pouring. So. I don't think defeated is the right word. I don't feel defeated. Just not looking forward to this run today. I mean, I've already got, um, had some coffee this morning and stuff. So now I'm trying to get my electrolytes in. I was not expecting to do a longer run, which I might end up just doing, I think. But I got some Element in. I love Element. This is a raspberry salt. Um, I love this stuff. I use it when I cycle. I use it when I run. Um, this has a lot of electrolytes in there and keeps me hydrated. It has potassium and magnesium to keep me from um, getting cramps and things my legs so i don't know i was ready to go i was gonna do like at least six miles i don't know i've got my mirror just in case i decided to go for 10. i've got uh my gum my chapstick i was ready to have the door and then i just realized it was just pouring pouring so now i just can't decide if i want to do a three mile run a six mile run go ahead and try and knock out a 10 mile run i don't know Stay tuned, I guess, and figure out where I land. <laughs> All right, well, I just got to the park. Where is everybody? Where? And we want to run today? Also, I think uh, Alexa was wrong about the temperature. I can see my breath. The temperature is that you can see your breath because like 43 or whew, whatever she said. What's wrong? Um. And just, oh, it's hot, hold on. That's still ice. Oh, okay, I can't get my jacket undone. There we go. So, I'm hot. <coughs> I'm all over the place, clearly. Sorry. <laughs> That's how my day is. So, clearly still ice. There's some on that tree. I just started running over here and I uh, just slid. So there's still ice, oh there's rain. It's not all gone yet. Man, I feel like I have, I'm gonna zip this back up, I'm gonna get soaked. I feel like I have absolutely braved the elements this week. If you guys are seeing that, I'm usually pretty positive. When I get mad, I get mad, but usually pretty positive. This is not gonna get me down. But man, what a day. I just, on the way here thinking, there has been ice, snow, sleet and freezing rain. There has been wind advisories, wind chill factors, you know, obviously below freezing temps with all that. Rain, every, I have literally rain in all of those. And most of those at multiple, you know, at one time. The pond, frozen. 
it's frozen. But I think the thing that gets me today, I mean, I've had a ton of time off work, still getting paid somewhat. Whole different ball game. I can't do anything about that right now. I'm working on it, I can't do anything about it. So I have to not be upset about it. The running schedule is always gonna change. That's fine, I'll always be working with that. The COVID thing <laughs> throws a wrench in things for sure because I don't know how to plan. I'm like, all right, if my son and I don't get COVID, okay, we're good. I'll have to run on a treadmill at night. But if I have a 10 mile run to do at some point this week, y'all know <laughs> I do not want to do a 10 mile run on the treadmill. That's why I contemplated doing it today in the rain, but I just cannot bring myself to run 10 miles today. I wasn't expecting it. I would have eaten a little more last night if so. I wouldn't have had a full cup of coffee this morning. It's just, I think, too late in the game and mentally for me to get prepared to run 10 miles today. Physically, I would have gone to bed earlier. My friend and I were up editing the video. Ooh, lots of ice. We were editing and doing stuff for the video last night. It took a long time for it to download and stuff. But he was so really excited for me to see it. I was excited to see it. <coughs> All this ice. So, I just made up later than I should have. I feel like it's just not putting me in a good place to run today. Not 10 miles. So, I will get at least five in. I know I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna push for six because I know this is on my training plan and I wouldn't falter from that, you know, unless I had to. There's no reason I can't run six. I have a mirror. I brought some element with me. Mentally. Oh, man. I don't like to back down from a challenge or what's expected in my training plan. Six is gonna be tough today because I know when I get back, it's gonna put me a little under five. If I go around the park twice, it's gonna put me close to seven. But if I go around that second time, I don't have a choice but to go seven because I'm on the back side of the loop and away from my house. <laughs> I have to come back. <laughs> So, today, today's where the mental challenge comes in. It's been one thing after another. Elements are not in my favor. And uh, I don't know how to plan for this week. So, we'll see what happens. All right. So, on my run, I'm trying to figure out how to change my mental game to get through this run. I have been told time and time again for marathon training. Uh, mile 18 is tough. It's a mental struggle. People's bodies break down at that point. Um, but it's a mental game. You've got to get past the mental struggle. Like your body has ran miles and miles and miles, right? These people are wondering, they slowed down like while I'm videoing myself and my icy run. Oh my gosh, it's treacherous out here. I think I've slipped more today than all last week. Anyways, you gotta get past a mental block. So I was running, I just hit three miles and I thought, God, <laughs> I'm gonna short myself. And um, I keep going. So just in an instant, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna turn around. I go back, I'm already halfway. I go back this way, I have to hit six miles. And I won't be dreading it when I get close to my neighborhood. And I'm at like five and some change. <laughs> Cause I don't want to like go up a hill in my neighborhood, tack some extra on. So just like that in an instant, I made it an out and back because I can mentally go, hey, I just ran this and it was fine. So I've already done it once today. Now it's going to go reverse, and I know I'll get my six miles in. So, still wondering where the uh, 
where the deer are. Well, definitely wet. It's a hot run, obviously red, but I'm just gonna, it's like water just dripping off my hat. My pants are soaked. That was not my hat, sorry. It's done. Thanks for checking out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like to follow along with me on my journey to my first marathon.